Signal Hill is one of the most recognisable uh, icons uh, in Atlantic Canada just because of the shape of the hill and, and the coastal, uh, coastal area it's in and of course it's attracted a lot of attention from as far away as the United States and across the country so it's, uh, it's certainly uh, it's a different one and not every day that a car is hanging off of uh, Signal Hill. At this time it, the, the scenario I guess in the circumstances leading up to the vehicle going over the cliff of course are still in investigation so it's uh, far too early to speculate as to exactly how it happened. Uh, like I said, the young lady is still in hospital with serious conditions, so no doubt uh, there will be some questions to answer with investigators as the time goes on. It was pretty windy up there, uh, so that of course made it a little bit tricky for, uh, for rescuers as well as for our, our towing people. Um, the cables they use are, are pretty strong and they're pretty capable of taking vehicles out of some uh, precarious areas, and they have uh, on many occasions in the past, uh, but yeah, I don't, I can't, I guess, speak specifically to I guess what was going through ahead at the time, but it was uh, it was certainly, as, as you guys all seen, a pretty dangerous area where the vehicle was. Signal Hill is one of the biggest tourist attractions, you know, arguably in Newfoundland. Um, but I mean, it was a it was Sunday morning. It was pretty windy, a little bit uh, overcast. It's not the time when you see a lot of people up there. Um, officers who were on scene said there was only maybe one or two people who were around who may have had some information. They may have witnessed it. Um, so fortunately, like I said, it wasn't in the middle of the day. It wasn't on a high tour season. Um, if that vehicle had gone further down over the trail, it's, it's likely it could have actually hit the trail, uh, which of course could have had some catastrophic results.